So now I'm going to go and finish putting the scaffolding up and get the flue down the chimney. So this is as far as I got so far. I had three levels and I've just picked up another two off a friend. So we should be able to get right up to the top now. Okay, so I'm up to eight meters now. It's getting a bit hairy, but luckily there's no wind today and everything seems pretty uh, solid now. Got all of the four extension legs out as best I can. And that's how we're looking. So that's four sections, eight meters, and I'm just at the bottom of the stack, but to be at a safe working height, I'm gonna to need to uh, put this last section here, carry that up. And then I need to work out what platform, because I obviously need two platforms at the top to work on really. And looking at the state of the chimney, I'll probably leave this up and do some uh, pointing on the brickwork. Okay, so I'm finally up at 10 and a half meters and it's a little bit scary. The girls are down there in the garden. And it looks like uh, our flue has dropped down inside by about a metre. It's a pain, I doubt we'll be able to push that back up. So I'll have to go down and pull it down from the into kitchen. And I think we'll want to cap off some of these, these spare ones whilst we're here as well. So um, I've tried to pull it up from the top, but the liner, the old liner is actually slipped down some time ago it looks and it's about a meter short of the top so i'm going to uh, unfortunately have to pull it down inside and this is the old four inch liner which we're trying to remove it's stuck inside the six inch liner uh, i couldn't see that at the top so i'm not sure how far that bit goes up but we're going to leave that in because that'd be easier to thread down and also act almost like an insulation because it'd be like a twin wall so this is the one we've got to pull out and I get the feeling it's going to make a bit of a mess. <coughs> I just managed to uh, add a quick go at shoving it up and I managed to get it up about two foot. So I might be able to reach it now. They didn't send me a nose cone with the flu, which is a real pain. Um, just because we might struggle now to, um, to attach the rope or string to the end of the flu. Um, I also didn't have a weight of such to, to throw down, but I'm hoping that we can, uh, that a couple of tennis balls in a bag might do it. Um, just winging it to be honest here, I haven't got a clue if this will work. But I mean, that's definitely small enough to fit through. That'll come down, hopefully all the way to here. And then we can pull it down. And then on the other end of this, I will tie our five inch flue. And I'm just going to have to tape it and tie it um, and hope that holds because then we'll pull it down and as soon as it gets to the right distance we can then take it through that hole into the new boiler room. Okay so we've got our five inch liner now and just unwrapped and you just want to make sure you know which direction the uh, the flue is meant to be and there should be arrows on it to tell you but another way to check is just to feel if you feel the uh, any grooves, you'll feel them one way rather than the other, um, where they overlap, and you want to make sure that that the uh, any condensation that forms flows down those uh, rather than into the grooves. So uh, just to double check, so you check the arrows and then check with your finger. Look how messy it is. Did it come down the chimney? Yeah. Did mummy pull it down? Woohoo! Look excited. So, we've got our liner. Here it is. I won't pull it just in case it all comes falling down. We've now got to thread it through that hole into the utility. Uh, we're trying to clean the kitchen, aren't we? Yeah. What happened? What happened? Did it all come down the chimney? Yeah. Uh oh. 
Uh-oh. Can you say uh-oh? Uh-oh. <laughs> We're not sure what we don't like more. Lard and plaster ceilings or coal hundred-year-old chimneys. Yeah. They're all dirty, aren't they? Yeah. And now we have to go and have a bath. Yeah. And we don't have any hot water. Yeah. Ugh. Oh.